Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome to the very first episode of Rogue Shenanigans in present day and post story. Yes, we have beaten the campaign at this point. So, and oh. Shut up! So many feels like I can't even comprehend. Hi. But orders are orders, and my orders are to stand right here. Hover pop 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 Nice sinking. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I knew it! I fucking knew it! Did I not say? I knew it! The manuscript is the freaking Voynich! I so freaking called it! <laughs> I actually just got finished playing Unity's campaign too, I just finished it. So I had to take a good hour to break <laughs> to let my face dry up! Oh my god, that was so awful. <sighs> but okay, we're gonna start looking around for shit. Since I have level 3 security clearance, I'm gonna wander around and see what I can find. And we're gonna start with this animus. Ah, shit. Okay, um... Oh, shoot. I haven't had to deal with the yellow one. Well, shit. Okay, wait, hold on. And then I move... There! These aren't so hard once you actually figure them out. I'm very excited to see what we can find in present day. Oh, also after this. Here, I'll show Hey, you. boss. Calling from Germany? Yes. I am in Essen. Searching for an artifact called the, the Phoenix Project! Can you tell me anything about it? Give me a minute to fire up my machines here. The Ankh okay. of Isis. Anything outside of Abstergo official records? Nobody's ever seen the thing. There's all kinds of stories about its history. From Roman Gallia, Egypt during the Middle Ages, and even a cell of modern-day assassins. Oh. And it apparently raises the dead. Is there any evidence to support this? None at all. Whoa! You know what I, think? I think this is bullshit the assassins are spreading around so that people like us waste our valuable time sniffing after it. it smells like a trap. Agreed. Keep an eye out for new information about the Ankh. While it may not lead to an artifact, we may be able to follow the data back to some assassins. You got it, boss. Where are you off to next? Cuba. I'm going to excavate the observatory. <gasps> no fucking way! The observatory! The Phoenix Project! In the video that it shows you about the Phoenix Project in Unity, they show the Ankh of Isis. Ankh, Ankh, I prefer to say Ankh. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's awesome! Oh, the whole raising the dead thing's probably bullshit, as Violet said. But, oh my fucking word, I would absolutely... Oh, that'd be crazy. What the frick is this? Is that... Prince of Persia? That's pretty cool. I only played, um... I played the 2008 one on the 360. And then I also played Forgotten Sands. And both of those were great. But those are the only Prince of Persia's I played, and I really like them both. But, uh, yeah. Oh, that was cool. Okay. I'm seriously, like, ten feet away from you, and I'm going this way. Calm your tits. Okay, so, one of the things that was mentioned to me by one of my beloved viewers, you know who you are, there's some... Uh, can you guys have any other type of conversation besides this? Jesus mother fucking Christ! Apparently there's some type of easter egg up in Melanie's office, so we're gonna go ahead and look and see if we can find anything. I don't know what I'm looking for or what it's an easter egg of, but I have a feeling I'll know it when I see it. And I told you I would go up here and look for it in the very first presentation Anakin's episode, so I will. Who the hell are you? I just don't get modern art. Neither do I. I looked at this already, USS Endurance. Hey, Edward, how you doing? I'm just looking. Just looking. Okay, in the office. Let's go ahead and take a... Who are you people? There's the Morgan. Ooh. <gasps> There's Altair's sword! Shut up! Is this the Easter egg? Altair's sword? Is this it? That'd be cool if it was. 
hopefully say that's well i mean i don't want that to be the easter egg because i want to keep looking but like oh that's cool far cry 3 there's plenty of you around shouldn't it be far cry 4 now i did download that for free by the way actually it's in the process of downloading after a whole 27 hours but still what the f whoa it's all snowy <gasps> look at how beautiful it is Oh my god, winter's in Canada. Ooh, there's a tablet out here. I'll go ahead and look at that in a second. Oh my god, look at how pretty! Fuck my life. Okay, I'm gonna go back and get this tablet right over here. Okay. Is Altair Sword the Easter egg? If I missed it, my apologies, but you can tell me down in the comments. <laughs> Hate them! Just to keep you in the loop, I heard back from editorial this morning. The story itself is untouched, but this is going to be the menu text for the Hate them Kenway feature. Devoted patriot, ce celebrated scholar, loving father. <laughs> loving father. <laughs> Exclusive to Helix, witness the rise and martyrdom of one of the American Revolution's least known heroes. A Helix exclusive. Didn't you just say that? Exclusive to Helix. A Helix exclusive! A little repetitive, don't you think? I think it's perfectly... It fits perfectly with the title you've chosen, The Lone Eagle. Haytham is going to appeal to a wide audience, and his story is going to definitely... Is going to definitely going to give, really? People a bad case of the feels, as those internet kids like to say. Oh my god, I'm old, aren't I? Melanie LeMay. The feels! Oh my god, yes. Forsaken. Holy shit, so many feels. Secret Crusade as well. You know, um, Secret Crusade is all about Altair. Open the door, please. Thank you. And uh, basically, most of it is just a written representation of the first game, and some of it are Revelations as well. But there are some parts from Revelations that are different in the Secret Crusade, and I wish they were the way they were in the book. Like, you remember that guy who goes up to Altair after they confront a boss about why, their son was, why his son was killed? And he says, Before I executed your son, I told them you ordered it yourself. He died believing you had betrayed him. And then Altair, like, possesses him and gives him a really bad headache. In the book, it's way different. Like, he goes up to him and says the exact same thing. But instead of just, you know, almost making him cut his own throat, he basically made him rip his own face off with his bare hands. Not even kidding. It goes on to describe it. Like, I think it goes on to, like, say he pulled off one of his own ears and he's, like, pulling his skin off. And, oh, it was gnarly to read about. I was like... Oh my god! I couldn't even believe what I was reading, and it's very, very, very violent for a video game. I get that. But, oh, it's way- I kind of wish it was that way in the game. In the game, it seems kind of underwhelming. But that's just me. Maybe I've been playing too many violent video games. Okay, transparency. Oh god, I almost have it. Hey, got it! Okay. Sweet. Those are very interesting, Bad. challenging puzzles. I kind of like them. The others were kind of raging. The first civilization entity known as Juno reemerged from the Grand Temple in New York in December 2012. Yeah. Although no longer a corporeal being, she exists as a kind of digital consciousness somewhere in the Abstergo cloud. To accomplish Don't I know it! In the real world, Juno uses two types of people. The first... Is another precursor consciousness that emerges in a human being at random. This person is commonly known as the a sage. sage. Juno also holds sway over a group of disciples called the Instruments of the First Will, who believe it is humanity's natural role to serve the First Civilization. Abstergo is currently using the First Will as a cheap and hands-off way of acquiring pieces of Eden and other relics. However, I suspect that the reverse is also true. That they are using our resources to locate objects that will help them further their own goals. Ooh. I do not trust them. But for now, all I can do is have the Costa monitor their activities. Juno's motives are unclear. Although she has made one attempt to possess a corporeal body, she appears to be more powerful as a digital entity. Agent DaCosta fears that should humanity ever achieve singularity, the fusion of humanity and machines, Juno would become unstoppable. 
Ironically, mm. it is Abstergo itself which is driving civilization in that direction. Yeah, you guys aren't totally without your flaws either, are you? <sighs> oh, man. That's actually very useful. I might have to go back and re-listen to that again, just to kind of... That's actually very useful information. I was never 100% positive who the instruments of the First Will are. But they're a modern group dedicated to serving the First Civilization. That the Templars are using to acquire pieces of Eden, but also don't entirely trust. Very cool. And the Sage is probably working with them as well. Did there, someone leave a tablet in the bathroom stall or something? I don't know. Just looking, guys. No? Okay, out I go then. Level two. Okay, let's see exactly... Hi, how are you doing? Hey, I'm allowed to be here. Jesus, they scare me. Why is there an error? Pardon you, stop freaking me out. Why is there an error on that door? I wanna... Jesus, I wanna go in there. Guess not, though. Okay, I guess out of the office I go. I'm assuming the Easter egg was Altair's sword. If I have it right, tell me. If I miss something else and I have to go back there again, then please tell me so as well. But either way, thank you for telling me there was an Easter egg up here, whether I found it or not. And, uh, yeah, I guess let's head back down to the Helix floor. There's a lot to do here, so let's go ahead and, uh, head back down here. I actually really like the present day of Black Flag and Rogue, since they're basically the same sort of setup. Um, they add so much lore. There's a lot to listen to and a lot to take in. I really like it a lot. Did I already do this? Computer? No, I did not. Okay, let me let me get this computer. Another transparent. Alrighty then. Um, there we go. repaired. I always get so excited after I finish these puzzles. Jesus Christ, it scared me. Remains a controversial figure for me. I have great respect for him. After all, he was the Grand Master of the Colonial Rite, charged with finding a precursor site. There's Miko. Haytham was cunning and ruthless, but he had a streak of emotional weakness that ultimately triggered his downfall. Emotion is he not a weakness. Lost his father when he was a child, and the British Grand Master Reginald Birch raised him to become a Templar Knight. Haytham eventually learned that his father Edward had been an assassin, that he chose to stay a Templar rather than follow in his father's footsteps, indicates to me that he believed he was already on the right path. When Haytham discovered that Birch was the one who murdered his father, he and his sister killed him in revenge. I believe this was the beginning of his downfall. This is all in Forsaken. Templars kill for efficiency, not petty emotions. When he discovered that his son Connor was an assassin working against him in the colonies, the same emotional weakness stayed his blade. A pity Connor did not show him the same mercy. Well, it's like, just like you said. An emotional weakness. Templars kill for efficiency. It looks like Connor got that right. More than, uh, Haytham did. It just, again, adding to the gray. But yeah, most of that stuff he talked about was in Forsaken, which I've read, so that came as no news to me. Oh, such a good book! Okay. Very nice. Seven of- Ooh, I got a ways to go, don't I? <laughs> Not fiction. Calibrating. Oh, who spilled their coffee? Sean probably made that for you. Nah, I doubt he's still here. He's probably not still here. There's a huge fucking mess here. What's going on? Is there a tablet back here by any chance or something? No? Actually, you know what? I remember there being like messages. Aha! There are messages. So let's go ahead and read these. Because I never, I didn't read these <laughs> when I was playing Black Flag Story. I forgot about them again. Emergency manual. Internal diagnostics have detected a malfunction in the building's operating systems. This emergency procedures manual has been programmed to replace the message section of your communicator. Oh. To ensure your personal s uh, safety, please keep your communicator with you at all times and refer to this manual as needed. Abstergo Entertainment cares, cares for the safety and well-being of all its valuable assets. So many typos! Thank you for your patience and cooperation. Okay, thank you. 
VIPs. On rare occasions, VIPs from Abstergo Industries may be on site. <laughs> Otto Berg. <laughs> they may impose on you certain requests for information or services that you feel may not fall under your jurisdiction or mandate. Abstergo Industries VIPs are to be obeyed without question or hesitation. <laughs> Failure to do so will result in disciplinary, disciplinary action and possible termination. And <laughs> not just of employment. Jesus. Should you find a communicator anywhere in the building, we recommend that you collect it and identify its owner. While the owner will face consequences for losing it, it is a mistake that they will only make once. Oh, God. Please respect your non-disclosure agreement. Uh-oh. Our work here is exciting and confidential. Security breaches will not be tolerated. This past year has seen many leaks of internal information to get out to the public. <laughs> Assassin's Creed! Victory! <laughs> not like they knew at the time. Hooded sweatshirts of any kind are not permitted within the building. I wonder why. If you see any individual wearing a hood of any kind, report them to security immediately. Oh my god. Should the weather be unpleasant, we strongly recommend the use of umbrellas. Anyone displaying an overt fondness for the color gray should also be treated with suspicion. <sighs> Instruments of the first will. Guide us into the gray. Overexposure to the animus may result in something called the bleeding effect, where reality becomes indistinguishable from the genetic memories in which you immerse yourself daily. It is possible that the emergency or obstacle you are facing is not there in reality. For example, if you see a fire, take steps to ensure that the fire is real before you act. Quickly and carefully touch the fire! Are you nuts? If the fire is real and you suffer third degree burns on your hand, remove your hand and proceed into the nearest exit in a calm and orderly manner while your hand is on fire! If the fire was a hallucination, proceed to section 11. What the fuck? At times, the deadlines of virtual feature development can feel overwhelming. Abstergo Entertainment has a variety of resources for you. Refresh yourself with complimentary... Hernia plus energy drinks? Hernia? <laughs> Revitalize your body with personalized routines programmed into a body band exercise bracelet. Our in-house psychiatrist can prescribe you medazolam and a stunning array of Abstergo pharmaceuticals to... Ease your mental anguish and delay the onset of the bleed. That's actually kind of a callback to the first game. Remember when you're talking to Lucy? When you're outside of the Animus and he's like, So, like, what can you tell me about these guys? Like, what can you tell me about this company? And she, the first thing she says is, Abstergo is one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Their primary focus is antidepressants. Interesting. That's actually the first time I've heard about the pharmaceutical aspect of Abstergo since the first game. Unless I just forgot or haven't been paying attention. But still, ooh, very cool. Ooh. Internal diagnostics read all systems normal. We have registered that you have performed above and beyond your mandate to facilitate the repairs. This has been noted in your permanent file. Good, I guess. Work life should resume within a few business days and you will regain access to your messages. Thank you for your hard work and cooperation. Thanks, I guess. Diary. Just like a recap of what happened in present day. Day one of repairs. My animus session triggered a virus hidden in the Shea Cormac file. I've been tasked with assisting two security contractors, Violet DaCosta and Otso Berg. Violet knows her stuff, but what's Berg's story? Questions can wait. We have to work together to restore Helix service. <laughs> the raid on Florence? Yeah. <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars? The sooner everything is cleaned up, the sooner life can get back to normal. Ha. What's normal? <laughs> Had a chat with Ms. LeMay. I feel like she's trying to tell me something about what I'm actually doing for Violet Mr. Berg. She was! <laughs> There's more going on here than I realize. Shay is the key. Finally restored basement servers. It all makes sense now. Mr. Berg protects us from the assassins. I'm glad to- No, I'm not! <laughs> Who knew that they were hiding under the skin of the world like parasites? The last couple of years working here makes more sense now. What a crazy week. My eyes have been opened. I've been offered a place among the Templar order to continue the fight against the assassins. I feel an obligation to accept, or am I just afraid to refuse? <laughs> afraid to refuse? <laughs> They've given me time to think it over. Have they? They were waving a gun in my face! I don't think they did! Oh, fucking my life, fucking fuck. I just opened the map. <sighs> <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and find another animus or something. Hello. Pardon me. Let's get this animus. <coughs> a split. Oh, really? This is gonna suck. 